Even if you get a question right, be sure that you read the explanation and watch the take up video if one is available, because we always try to help you with more than just the specific question being addressed. For example, this excerpt taken from another video would have helped you with this question as well. There's a terrific video on the CY Learning YouTube channel where Coach Corey explains a short sale using an analogy where he borrows a snowblower from his vacationing neighbor, sells it, and then eventually replaces it. Here's a thumbnail so it's easy for you to find. I strongly suggest you give it a watch. A short sale can be summarized by the following five bullet points. The investor borrows shares from the dealer and will eventually have to return them. The investor immediately sells those shares. If the investor can buy back those shares at a lower price and then returns them, the difference is profit. On the other hand, if the investor buys the shares back at a higher price, it results in a loss. And here's the scary part. In theory, there's no limit to how high the price could go. The sky's the limit, so a short sale represents a potential unlimited loss. I should note that there are ways to hedge and limit the potential loss, but that is beyond the scope of this video. See how that take up video would have helped with this question too? We know that with a short sale, the investor is selling shares that were borrowed from an investment dealer. In other words, shares that the investor doesn't own. And that is the answer to this question.